Hey guys, so for today's video, I am going to be showing you guys my February favorites. I'm gonna add in a few like little random things here and there too because it's not just beauty. I didn't find like a ton of beauty stuff that I was really loving this month, but next month I will be because I recently found out that I am seven minutes away from the greatest Ulta in the world. So expect to see more stuff next month. If you guys want to see my February favorites, then just keep on watching. By the way, if you guys start hearing crickets in the background, I apologize for that. Jake owns a lot of animals. We have a lot of crickets. <laughs> All right, like I said before, I now live seven minutes away from the greatest Ulta in the world. There's never any traffic going that way. Their stuff is never out of stock. They sold brands that I've never even actually seen at an Ulta. None of the Ultas I've ever been to anyway. I haven't found any other Ulta that started releasing this company in their stores except for this Ulta. And it's been told for a while that they would start selling this brand. And I've been pretty bummed the last few months not finding it anywhere, but I finally found it at this Ulta. They started selling Morphe products at Ulta, you guys. Ugh. You guys, I have been wanting this palette for so freaking long. And yes, I am very late in the bandwagon with this product. I apologize, but paying for shipping and handling is annoying. And I have been too broke to buy this palette. But you know what? Now I was able to because I got gift cards at Ulta. It is the Morphe 350. Two palette, the looks I am going to come up with with this palette. You guys aren't even ready yet. It's got every color that I could possibly need for summer. I'm going to come up with so many different looks in the summer using this palette, and I'm so freaking excited for it. And in the fall time, this is also perfect for fall and summer. Just so you guys know, I like using the warm colors during those times. As soon as I open this palette, swear to God, I might have peed myself just a little bit. Shadows are amazing, they're so blendable. They are the shadows that I am wearing on my eyes today that I had to go and include in my February favorite. Yeah, I, I only got this a week ago, but I don't care. It's in here and I've been using it a lot All right, so the next product I'm gonna talk to you guys about is a bronzer that I have been Loving this month and I really should have used more tutorials I don't know why I didn't because honestly off camera. I have been using this non-stop I have a miniature version, but I am planning on getting the bigger version at some point It is the Lorac Los Angeles Sundays bronzer from the pan I know it looks super intimidating and it's very shimmery looking and that honestly freaked me out at first when I saw this but you guys it's not shimmery at all it's not chunky it doesn't emphasize all your gross textures on your face or anything like that it's the bronzer I'm actually wearing on my face today mixed with another bronzer the physicians formula butter bronzer but oh my god the glow that this bronzer gives you I'm fucking living for it honestly it's not crazy warm it's not too orangey it's not too red nothing like that I feel like it's just such a good color. This is perfect if you want to have that sun goddess look going on. And I have just picking up this bronzer. It's honestly amazing. I'm going to use this so much in the summertime. You guys can honestly count on that. Alright, the next product I'm going to talk about is a mascara that I have really been loving. The last few months actually, I don't know why I haven't included this in a favorites video yet. I don't know if it just slipped my mind, but I've been using this mascara non-stop. It is the Maneater Mascara from Tarte. It's actually really good. I like it mainly for my bottom lashes definitely, but I like it for my top lashes when I want to give them just a little bit more volume. This mascara is really great for that. It doesn't leave like chunks of mascara in your eyelashes which is what I like because I always have that problem with mascaras and this one doesn't do that. You can keep layering it and layering it and it'll still not give you chunks of mascara. Yes I have the mini just so you guys know. I like to get the mini products before I try the big products. Less expensive and I like to know if I like it first. If you're on a budget that's something you guys should honestly try doing is just grabbing a miniature of something before you grab the big one because the big one is going to be like eight times more expensive. That's what I like to do. I like to really give a product a test run before I go and actually buy the regular size product itself. I just think that's smarter, honestly, to know if I actually am going to use it and like it or not. If you're looking for a good cruelty-free mascara, I highly recommend checking this one out. The next product I'm going to talk about, it is the product that I actually have on my lips today. It is the Buxom Plump Line Lip Liner Crayon. And I have mine in the shade Mystery. Buxom actually sent me this in a package not too long ago, so thank you so much Buxom. If you guys ever watched this, I really appreciated that. They gave me a lot of really good products in there. I've talked about a few of their glosses before on my channel. Their glosses are my absolute favorite formula ever for a lip gloss. And I don't know why, I never got around to really trying this product out until this month. And 
and I really love it. It comes out really pigmented on the lips. It looks like this. It honestly just looks like a crayon, but it glides on so nicely to the lips. It doesn't start to feel uncomfortable throughout the day. Yeah, if you're eating and drinking, you are going to have to reapply it, but I honestly don't mind that. I have to do that with a lot of my lip products. So if you're looking for something that's super long lasting and will last while you're eating or drinking, this isn't going to be for you. But if you're looking for a really good lip crayon that glides on really nicely to the lips and doesn't leave an uncomfortable feel for throughout the day, then I recommend checking this one out. This one also comes with a brush on the side. So say there's too much color somewhere on like a certain part while you're lining it, or you want to do like an ombre effect with it, this is amazing. This brush is fantastic. I'll actually, if I'm using like something else, I'll actually grab this brush and just start ombreing a little lip effect with it, even when I'm not using the crayon. I love the color. I think the color is also beautiful. I love plum colors and it's still winter time, so I feel like this color is very appropriate for winter. Okay, now for some non-makeup related products. I really don't have that many products to talk about with you guys this month, so I kind of want to add in a few others as well. I'm trying to go vegan at least three or four days out of the week. I'm already a vegetarian but giving up cheese is very hard for me to do. That is the one reason I can't be vegan is because I love cheese so much. I found a few vegan cheeses this month that I was actually really loving though. And then another thing that has honestly been saving me whenever I go three or four days eating vegan, this is nutritional yeast. This has been my lifesaver. Every vegan knows, every vegetarian knows to try nutritional yeast. I don't know why I was so late trying this because it's honestly really freaking good. I use it in a lot of my Buddha bowls now. If you guys don't know what a Buddha bowl is, it's like a vegetarian or vegan concoction that you can make and it's awesome. I use tofu in it. I use peppers, mushrooms, all that good stuff. If you guys ever want to see like some vegan recipes I make, let me know because I honestly really like cooking and I love coming up with new fun recipes. But yeah, getting off topic. I love nutritional yeast. If you're going vegan, this is going to make your life so much easier. Trust me. It has this cheesy taste to it so you can add it to little foods that you would normally put cheese on. If you're cooking with it though, I don't know how it tastes as the powder itself. But if you're cooking with it and you need something to have like a little bit of a cheesier taste. Add a little bit of this and it tastes so good. It's been honestly saving my butt this month. The next product I have to talk about is a shirt that I was so excited to buy. I've been wearing this shirt so much around my house, outside my house. I have been looking for a shirt like this forever. I don't care what anyone says. It's so freaking cute. And it is this shirt right here. It's so fun. I love it so much. I can wear that with so many different outfits and it'll still look really cute. The material is super soft. You can actually get that off of Fashion Nova, but I think they also have shirts like that on Amazon as well, just in case you guys wanted to know where I got it. I am obsessed with it. I've been wearing it so much this month. And then the last thing I have to talk about, you guys, I have been so obsessed with these for the last few months and they have honestly been saving me and Jake when it comes to sleeping or for me whether I feel anxious or whenever I need like a little pick me up, a little boost of energy. I am talking about essential oils. Essential oils is the way to live. I am obsessed with these. I have been using these so much. I've really been reading into what kind of oils do what, all the different mixtures you can do, what different mixtures will do for you, what different oils will do for you. Oh my god, I love them so much. You guys, okay, I am an extremely anxious person, obviously. A lot of people know that about me. <laughs> and these have been helping me so much with my anxiety. Or whenever I have days where I honestly can't get out of bed and I'm just feeling so down and it's just one of those days. Those of you that have that half of them, you know what I'm talking about. I will start using my essential oils. And as crazy as it sounds, when I need a boost of energy and I use the right oil, I get a huge, quick boost of energy. And it really helps me. Whenever I'm feeling super anxious, I'll put peppermint oil on the back of my neck and it will calm me down. And this also works for Jake too, which is crazy and he's even knows the difference. He can't sleep unless I turn on the diffuser now. Say if we use lavender or if we use a calming oil, oh my god, we sleep throughout the night because of our diffuser. And for those of you that know me, you guys know I have extreme insomnia and it's really bad, but I have found that when I use the sweet orange or the lavender or any of the calming ones, I will pass out. These have honestly just been such a lifesaver for me. Anyone that uses these will tell you they are a miracle and that's why I honestly had to go and include these in this video because they have just been making such a huge difference for me the last few months. I highly recommend going and checking out some essential oils and just trying them out and see what they do for you. They honestly are amazing. Guys, that's everything that I have really been loving this month. Let me know in the comments below whatever you guys have really been loving or using this month. It can honestly be anything. I like to talk about anything so let me know what you guys have been loving. I'd like to try out some new stuff. If there's anything new that I haven't tried, you know, help a girl out. I hope 
you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already and have a great rest of your night or day wherever you guys may be. I will see you guys in my next video. And remember, stay weird my friends. Bye you guys. Ow. Oh, the little pug is outside. He looks so sweet. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, the neighbors are looking at me like I'm a weirdo again. But you know what? There's a pug outside and he's beautiful. Oh, there's another one. Oh my god, there's two of them. Oh my gosh. Oh god, my neighbors like staring at me and I'm like, yeah, just that girl that talks to her camera.